My name is uh, Attila Vasky, and I'm a special effects technician. There's a number of uh, embedded gags uh, in this set. There's uh, automatic doors, automatic washrooms, there's automatic kitchen components, um, automatic fireplaces. We bring all that to life. Well, the, uh, of course, the fridge moves. There's a heat vent or a fume hood that comes down from up there. Um, you can't quite see it, but this pops up and there's a sink inside, which is actually a little person in a very small hole underneath there moving it. It's a very busy place and we don't have a ton of guys, so it's Attila and Ronnie and Tim's there and depending on who and who they ask in, are doing all the things. So usually you'll hear someone running around the outside of the house, you know, as you're doing the scene, trying to get to the next set of winches to make the next effect work. Smart House is full of uh, electronic doors that sense and anticipate everybody's presence and they open and close uh, as is needed. And uh, again, a special effects technician stands out here, waits for his cue, and on command, he uh, commences opening the door. Oftentimes, Carter has to uh, use the washroom and uh, use the sink to wash up, shave, as all men do. Sarah provides him with uh, the uh, means to do that. The wall in the kitchen actually turns into a fridge. The way we make that happen is by, again, the effects men finding some kind of interesting position to be in here and uh, actuating this mechanism in here which is basically a lazy Susan on a sliding track. And how it works is just like this. Now what this is, is a counterweight system. And on cue, all I do is I let the weight take it away from me and we just let it fall into position. And that's how you get your ceiling fan down above the kitchen. This is the kitchen. I am equipped with state-of-the-art appliances for all your culinary delights. Neil Grayson does the voice of Sarah, and um, he's awesome at it. He's such a utility guy. Like he does, um, in the table reads, Neil reads anyone who isn't there. In the read-through for the script where Sarah was introduced, there was a little line that said, uh, where Carter says, Fargo, is that you talking like a girl? And it was, and then Fargo says no. But it wasn't really said whether that was a joke or not. I took it to be like he was saying no, as in no, yes, it's me. And then um, when we were reading it, I just jumped in and started doing the Sarah lines and talking like a girl. Well, Sarah just usually talks like this. <clears throat> what they do in post, I think they add a little, a, a slight echo to it, just to make it a bit more digital sounding. Well, I would say that he's actually more comfortable playing female at this point because when we started out, I remember the first time he was doing and the thing is we were trying to find the voice and you know, he's, he's like, well, like this or like this and so now he just goes right into it. So he's, he definitely has a, a go-to for when he plays women. I suppose it, it helps me get in touch with my feminine side and that it, it makes me understand my girlfriend a bit more. You know, the things Sarah says to Carter, the things my girlfriend would say, or you know, the things that certain people get offended with. It's like, oh, okay, that's what that was, all right. Aha! I understand. In my head it didn't sound bad, but I guess coming out it did. There you go.